Hey, good morning, everybody. So uh, we have a new uh, CPU miner on the uCrypto website. So I just wanted to show people how to get that uh, downloaded. And there are some updates happening uh, that are coming up that uh, that we know there's a couple issues. But for most part, uh, the CPU mining part is good to go. Um, and I actually have it the GPU uh, minor side of it working on uh, my other computer. So this is something that uh, I'm going to try to walk you through really quick here and uh, help you get started. So let me uh, minimize myself and we'll get started. All right. So first things first, everybody likes to use Google. I understand. I like to use Google, but for this, probably not a good idea because Google likes to block it. So I'm going to take that down. Uh, first things you want to make sure go ahead and go to your settings we're going to go to update and security and Windows Defender if you go to your Windows Defender open security uh, this app and browser control right here you want to make sure uh, that is off and I'm going to show you why in a second the uh, <clears throat> Windows uh, likes to see it as a virus so that was a new thing that i saw happening but anyway let me close that out mine's fine uh if you can see i've actually done this uh practicing so i'm gonna do it again uh, let me close that and so when you get to the ucrypto.com page here you're gonna see getting started you can just hit view downloads here or you can come up here to downloads at the top either way is uh fine we're gonna hit view downloads beginners pool mining software gonna hit download the ucrypto etn miner it's gonna take you over here to mega and you can see right here it's a zip file ucrypto.com easyminer.zip we're gonna hit download and it's gonna start that's gonna take mine a little bit longer because uh i have stuff going on in the background so it's coming. I'll try to talk slow to make sure everybody sees it. So down at the bottom down here, you're going to get a uh, what do you want to do with ucrypto.com easyminer.zip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let me see if I can. I don't know if it's going to let me stretch this. You know what? I might be able to drag it down a bit. Let's see. Drag it down right there. All right, so you can see at the bottom where it says this. So what I'm, what I like to do is I like to hit save as, and then I'm gonna save it to my desktop. So I save it to my desktop. It says it's uh, done downloading. So you know a lot of people will just hit open folder from here, but I'm actually gonna minimize this my Windows to get to my desktop, and it's right here, right? I just drug it over. That's what it's going to look like, ucrypto.com, easyminer.zip. Uh, I'm going to right-click it, extract all. It's going to ask me, do I want the destination file? It's pretty much going to tell me it's going to put it on the desktop. Sure. We'll do that. All right. So uh, if you don't open it from right here, um, well, I actually uh, it actually put it right down here and move my stuff around but you might have to look for it for the ucrypto.com easy miner folder that it makes so mine is right here guys but i'm gonna do it from inside here i'm just gonna double click to open it up and it's, you should see like this and you see this uh right here ucrypto uh etn miner.exe what i like to do for simplicity for me is i just create a shortcut and you see right underneath it it shows a shortcut and I just grab that and drag it to my desktop all right see that now it's on my desktop I can double click it it's going to give you a warning security warning could not be verified publisher do you want to run the software I'm going to say run and voila I can close this out here we go ucrypto.com easy miner 
So what you're going to do, it's pretty simple. I've already got it over here, so I'm just going to copy and minimize my wallet address, paste it in, and right on cue, the phone starts ringing. So let me, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, got it in there. If everything works correctly, I should be able to just hit start mining. It's going to give me the thing about the uh, warning about the publisher not verified. It's okay. We're going to hit run and your CPU mining. Pretty simple. Um, now, what I did notice at this time, there's some stuff that's got to be worked out with the GPU miner. This worked perfect on my AMD uh, GPUs. It did. This computer has. Um, nvidia so uh, right now i think there's a, a small issue switching back and forth but you know a lot of our people just cpu mine and that'll be perfect um, if you have an amd uh, graphics card it may work perfect for you but um, if you want to use the uh, start mining you should pick it right up and when you hit start mining you can see it does open on the gpu and it starts doing its thing and the mine gets down and it actually gives me an error um, so that's being worked on no big deal um, a lot of people who have big mining rigs they go ahead and use uh, they've got other software they use anyway but see it it, it thinks for some reason I've got a uh, NVIDIA through the software. So that's something we're already aware of and it's getting worked on guys. But to get you back uh, CPU mining in our pool, uh, this is a, a pretty easy way to do it. And uh, really just takes a couple seconds to do it. If you follow these steps, you'll you'll be in and mining uh, with the new Easy Miner pretty quickly. And you know, like I said, uh, the GPU miner works fine on my AMD machine no issues at all so if you're running uh, amd cards you should be able to click start mining on your gpu and it will um you'll be right in there mining with that so anyway guys that is how easy and simple that is and uh if you have any questions you know we definitely will try to answer those for you um but yeah that's really really simple so Anyway, enjoy it. Come join our pool. Uh, help us uh, get back to where we were. And we appreciate every one of you. And you have a good day. Bye-bye.